Welcome to Definite Mind. In this question, there is a square whose side length is 12 unit, and this is the midpoint of this side length of a square. Then we have to find the length of PQ line segment. That is red line segment value we have to find. I suggest you to pause this video and try to solve this. Otherwise, watch the solution completely. Now, by seeing this figure, we can say that this angle and this angle are vertically opposite angles, so these two angles will be equal. And also this angle and this angle is alternate angle so these two angles will be equal and this angle and this angle is also alternate angle so this two angle will also be equal. Now we can say that by angle 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 these two triangles are similar and similar triangles have special properties whose corresponding sides are in proportion. Okay so according to question side length of a square is 12 unit and this is the midpoint and so this side length will be in 6 now proportionality is here in twice that is double so everything will be double as we can see that this side length is 6 and this corresponding side of this triangle is 12 so same side length of this side let's suppose x then this side length will be 2x same everything will be in twice so if we consider here height of this triangle is h then height for this triangle will also be 2h proportionality rule according okay and this perpendicular line is parallel to side length of this square which is equal to 12 so we can write here h plus 2h equal to 12 this means 3h equal to 12 that is h equal to we can write 4 which is equal to what 8 units in place of h if we put 4 4 into 2 8 now if we consider this point as a r and this point as a m then I will find area of this triangle PQR that is we can write area of triangle PQR equal to 1 by 2 base base is here PR which is equal to 12 and height is QM which is equal to 8 so 2 fours are that is 12 fours are 48 48 unit square there will be area for this PQR triangle and once again I will find area of this triangle PQR by another formula and formula is let's suppose this is a triangle any triangle side length is x and this is y and this angle is given as a theta then area for this triangle will be 1 by 2 x y sin theta okay using this formula we can find here you will notice if we consider this this angle is actually 45 degree because each angle of a square is 90 degree and diagonal bisect the angle so this angle will be 45 degree and if we consider QR as a A unit then you will see this is QR is A and PR length is 12 and this angle is 45 degree then we can find area of this triangle that is we can write area of triangle PQR using this formula we can write 1 by 2 PR into QR sine 45 degree and we will put we have just calculated area of this triangle PQR is 48 so right here 48 and here 1 by 2 PR value is 12 so 12 right and QR we have considered as a, a and sin 45 is 1 over root 2 then 12 fours are 4 into 2 8 and this root 2 so we can write a equal to 8 root 2 unit okay so a equal to 8 root 2 now QMR is a in triangle QMR is a right angle triangle so using Pythagoras theorem we can write mr equal to under root 8 root 2 square 
minus 8 square which is equal to 64 into 2 minus 64 that is we can write 6 under root 64 which is equal to 8 so mr length is equal to what 8 from pr is 12 so this pm will be actually what 4 unit okay 4 unit pm now here also we can find in triangle qpm this is also a right angle triangle so using pythagoras theorem we can also find pq equal to under root 4 square that is pm square and qm square that is 8 square 16 plus 64 which is equal to under root 18 and we can write under root 18 as under root 16 into 5 which is equal to 4 root 5 so 4 root 5 will be the required answer for this question so thanks for watching this video and please like share and subscribe this channel also